Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2018 on an 18 plate. Uh, Toyota Hilux, it is the 2.4 D4D. It is the automatic gearbox and it is the Invincible X, which is the top of the range example. Uh, with a colour coded Truckman hardtop on the back of it as well. So there's a couple of grand's worth that you don't have to spend out on. It does have a tow pack fitted to it as well. So again, there's about another 400 quid you haven't got to spend out on as well. Uh, and then uh, overall, all good condition. Uh, it's a one keep from new, it's direct off lease. It's done 53,000 miles. And doesn't it look well in that gray metallic paint uh, with the black leather interior. Um, recent set of boots on it all round, I'd suggest as well, but we'll show you those in a second. So, doesn't appear to have had a hard life. Looking up there on the roof, you can see no damage at all, all looking good. It has just come back from our detailer, so we've had this professionally detailed. Um, so, uh, yeah, lovely, uh, lovely sort of gleam to the bodywork. Now, windscreen we are going to have to do. To be honest with you, you look at it from here and you think it's all good, which is what I thought it was. Uh, but it does appear to have had a stone chip there and it's uh, it's cracked the windscreen. So we've just got to do a little stone chip uh, touching there as well. And unfortunately, we're just going to have to change that windscreen, aren't we? Which is a bit of a pain in the arse, but there we go. Uh, coming down onto the bonnet. Bonnet is all good, as you can see. No major stone chips, no dents, dings. Um, all looking pretty good. There is, catch it in the wrong light, a little bit of a scratch there. Can you see? I'm, I am having to search it for it, okay? Uh, from a distance, you can't really see it, but there is a bit of a scratch there on the bonnet, okay? Detailer says he can't get that out. He's uh, He has flat and mopped it, and that is as good as we can get it, okay? Um, it's not stand out, but it is there, and as our videos are warped and all, we'll point it out to you. Passenger headlamp unit, that's all good. Passenger front bumper corner, uh, that's all good as well. No scuffing, he says. There's a little touching that's required there, okay? So a small one required there. Uh, front fog light unit's all in good order. As you can see, you've got front sensors. You've got reverse camera as well. Um, so nice from that point of view. Coming around to the rest of the front of the vehicle, grills etc those are all good your driver's side headlamp unit uh, these are uh, led drl so uh, led daytime running light units as well uh, they're auto lights on this vehicle as well driver's side front bumper corner that's all good with no scuffing uh, fog light this side that's all good if we get down low we look down the passenger side of the vehicle okay there are at the moment two dent mandings on the driver's side rear door. I'll point them out to you as we get closer. But if you look down the rest of the vehicle, no major dents or dings to point out to you. Alloy wheel this side, obviously they are Toyota alloy wheels. Alloy wheels are in great condition actually, to be fair. So uh, no scuffing, doesn't appear to be any signs of corrosion on them. Uh, tires are good. So you've got these um, pretty cool, first that's the time I've really seen these Avons. Uh, mud and snow tyres. Um, they have loads of tyre tread depth on them, as you can see. Quite an aggressive tyre pattern. Um, but looks, yeah, looking pretty cool. Have a look underneath the arches there. Uh, you can see it's not gobbed full of um, <laughs> farmyard uh, mud, um, salt, or anything like that. It's all pretty clean and tidy under there, to be fair. Just looking behind there, having a quick look at your discs. Uh, there is no real lip on there obviously it's something we look at on your uh, pdi and we'll let you know from that point of view um driver's side front wing that's all good no damage we have front fog uh, we have front mud flaps and rear mud flaps mirror uh chrome mirror unit you've got your integrated indicator which is in good condition the mirror unit itself is in good order as well your driver's side front door glass that's in good order driver's side front door uh, we have a couple of minor stone chips so we have a stone chip here uh, which will get touched in for you and just a couple of minor ones on the door edges okay so if I just go down your door edges so you can have a proper look okay so there's a couple stone chips there sorry not stone uh, a couple of little chips there on the door edges 
uh, just there as well. And we've got a stone chip there that needs touching in. So we'll get a touch up stick from Toyota ordered up for it and we'll get that sorted out on it for you as well, okay? Your driver's side rear door. This is the one that does have a couple of parking dings on it. They're not big. I am searching for them, but you can see that one there. And there's one, yeah, just a little bit further forward to it, which is very minimal, but it is there, okay. So we'll get those, uh, we'll get the dent man on that for you and get that sorted out. Uh, driver's side rear door, as you can see, that's in good order. Your side step, those are in great condition as well. Uh, just behind your door handles, you can see no major scratching or anything. All looking pretty good. Got really minimal, a couple of minor, minor chips there. Okay, again, we'll get those touched in for you. Hard top is a Truckman colour coded hard top to the vehicle. The rear of the uh, pickup is in good condition with no dents or dings. Your driver's side alloy wheel again, great condition uh, with. And uh, another matching Avon tyre, similar to what you see on the rest of the vehicle. So I think you've got four matching tyres on these, which is all nice. Just looking at your chassis, chassis looking all okay. What we will do is we get them jet washed off and we'll just, uh, all of your ladder chassis on any of the pickups that you're going to be looking at, no matter what the manufacturer get a surface corrosion on them. So we tend to jet wash them and then we'll uh, treat them in um, Schultz. Okay driver side look down the driver's side all looking nice and tidy isn't it uh, rear light unit as you can see that's in good condition uh, rear bumper corner is in good condition so as you can see you've got reverse sensors on it as well you've got a rear camera on this thing as well and then hard top you've got a tinted rear window on your hard top your rear tailgate is in good condition with no major dents or dings and then coming down onto your bumper, we have a little ding in the chrome part on the corner there. The top of the rear bumper, hopefully you can see. No signs of any major wear or tear on there at all. All looking quite tidy, isn't it? Tow bar, nice tow bar on it. Um, good little setup there. Uh, opening up the tailgate, you can see we have a Truckman load liner in it as well as the Truckman hardtop. Uh, not done a lot of hard work to be fair, that load liner. It's in good condition. The tailgate part of the load liner is in good condition. Way that you can see how much a, a, a pickup has worked is have a look at the metalwork in between the two, in between the, uh, the tub and the tailgate. Um, when these have worked hard uh, and they've had um, concrete and sand and all that sort of thrown in them um, this can be chipped up really badly and worn quite badly but this is in nice condition tailgate's quite heavy on them isn't it um top of the tailgate it's got the uh plastic uh, or uh, or do we call it ppf uh paint protection film going uh, along the top of it okay um but there are some minor marks on there as well you always get it from low, low stuff loading in and out of them don't you so um i always like my own pickup um yeah that was like this and then we've just bought the uh the tailgate um they call it the lip or something don't they i'm sure there's a more technical term for it but it's like the plastic protector that goes along the top so um yeah i'd always kind of suggest you bang one of those on it top of the tailgate lid as you can see that's in good condition High level brake lights all good under here you have a reverse camera uh, your rear handles all in good condition as well passenger side rear uh, light unit that's in good order as i say that passenger rear bumper corner you've got a little bit of a ding there on the chrome um, not a lot i can do with that one to be fair because they're quite a heavy chrome on those bumpers looking down the passenger side of the vehicle from this side again Actually very straight and tidy, nothing to really point out to you from a cosmetic point of view. But there's your, your lid, there is your tub, your alloy wheel on this side in good condition. Again another matching A1 tyre with plenty of tyre tread depth on, on it. Um, 
as I say, that tub is in great order. Rear privacy on the back end of the vehicle, passenger side rear doors in great condition. Your side step again, great condition. Passenger front doors all in good order. Passenger door glasses in good order. Your passenger wing mirror unit indicator and mirrors themselves are in great condition. Uh, handles all looking pretty good. Keyless entry on these things, so as long as you've got the key on you, uh, you can open it um, just by pressing the button on the door handles. Uh, driver's, sorry, passenger side front wing, that's in great condition. Passenger side alloy wheel, again, um, surprisingly in good condition. It's normally the wheel that gets uh, the most amount of abuse, isn't it? But that's in good order. Avon tyre this side, plenty of tyre tread depth on there. Let's have a look inside it. So, door cards, passenger side rear door card, as you can see. Good condition, clean and tidy, no signs of any major abuse. We have a little bit of a scratch there, which will get touched in for you. I suspect it's because somebody has left the seat belt, got out in a hurry, left the seat belt there. It's just caught it slightly. But generally, your entry plastics and stuff is in good order. Your flooring in the back, is actually in good order. It actually looks dirtier in the video than it does in real life. It actually doesn't look, and you look at the photos, the photos in real life look all good. The iPhone video camera appears to like um, have x-ray vision when it comes to dirt. So rear seats, look at those. They've hardly been sat on, have they? Pretty good order. Back of your seats in good order. Headlining in good order. Passenger front door card in good order. Inside your door cards are clean and tidy. Top of your dashboard. I thought there was a scratch then, but it's actually a hair. Uh, top of your dashboard, all good. We have two glove boxes here. This one, the top one. And then we have a lower one here. Uh, and in there you've got your book pack and your locking wheel and all of your associated items that you should have with it. Passenger side front seat is leather, as you can see, and that is in great condition as well. Seat squabs, entry seat squabs, etc. is all good. We have a little bit of wear here. So now this is the, uh, the big Hilux downfall is they all get a little bit of wear on this bit on the sill here, okay? So there you have your Hilux plate here. Toyota need to actually extend it so it covers down to there and then nobody would suffer with that issue. But uh, anyway, so there is a bit of a mark there at the moment. It is quite easily smart repairable and on the driver side, I think we will get it smart repaired properly, okay? <coughs> driver side rear door card, as you can see, clean and tidy again. Inside there, all clean and tidy. Entry seals and plastics, all good. Seating on this side, again, looks hardly used. Back of the seat, all looking pretty good. Got your curry hooks, look. Yes, we all love a curry hook, don't we? And those just fold around that way. So you've got one on this seat, one on that seat. Driver side door card, in good condition. We have a paper mat that I've just screwed up and shoved in the door pocket there, but... Electric rear windows, electric front windows, you can turn off your electric windows. This is your central locking. You have electric folding mirrors. We have electric mirrors. This is your adjustment for it as well. Driver side seat, again, leather seats, lovely condition. Uh, we have electric adjustment for your seats on here. Stop start button, um, obviously to stop and start it. Uh, power heat just means that it, you turn that on and it keeps the tick over a lot higher. It makes it warm up a lot. Uh, quicker. It has a lane departure warning system on it. It has a uh, reverse park hill. This one will turn your sensors on uh, and off. Uh, and then this one is, I completely forget, I'll have to refer back to the manual. But your fuel filler release is here and your bonnet release is here. I'll pull that so we will have a quick look under there in a second. Um, if I just get in to the vehicle and I have the key in my pocket. And because I've got the key in my pocket, it's just detected the key and it's fired it up without us having to use anything in the ignition. So, 
Um, got quite a lot of tech on these new Hilux Invincible Lexus. So we've got this great touch screen thing here, okay? Thing, I'm not quite sure that's what Toyota would refer to it as. Um, but obviously we've got um, uh, factory sat nav for starters. If I engage reverse gear, we've got the reverse camera that comes up. We have Bluetooth telephone uh, and Bluetooth music, and we have, uh, let's see what we've got going on here. Uh, yeah, so you've got DAB, FM, and AM. We've got Bluetooth phone, Bluetooth music. Obviously you've got your normal auxiliary inputs and AV inputs as well. Uh, you've got this Toyota AHA system. Um, which uh, once you've linked up your telephone will give you an internet connection as well. Um, and uh, obviously these are just phones that are connected to it at the moment. So uh, you can get all these different apps. Uh, and then car, uh, currently telling us it's been averaging 37 miles a gallon. It's not bad, is it really? But it might pick up, that's for sure. Uh, and then these are all your different setup uh, screens for everything you, that you can alter and get to uh, um, set up on it. We have climate control, air conditioning, uh, air recirculation, air coming into the cabin, throws that one up at the front windscreen, throws everything up, all the blower fans up to the front windscreen. Where you want the air blowing to is adjusted on here, on my feet. Uh, heated uh, mirrors and heated rear window. Uh, we can turn the blower fans off by pressing that and that turns everything off. Auto obviously turns everything back on. Air conditioning, we have your um, uh, four-wheel drive system here, so you can run it in uh, two-wheel drive on the rear or high four-wheel drive or low four-wheel drive. We have rear diff lock, we have hill descent control, we have an electronic stability program, we have stop-start technology, we have heated seats, driver and passenger. We have USB power here, we have a 12-volt power here and we have a 12-volt power over here. We have eco mode and power mode, obviously the auto gearbox, cup holders looking nice and clean and tidy aren't they as is all of the interior looking nice and clean and tidy look down in between your seats and you can see it's not full of dirt um, dust old toenails and bits of McDonald's um, it's all looking clean and tidy down there uh, auto lights they're uh, obviously they're on or set on auto at the moment you've got fog lights on your inner one so front fog lights rear fog lights and obviously you get your uh, your warning lights to come on to tell you that those are on. Um, indicators are on this stalk. On your right hand stalk we have um, auto wipers and uh, windscreen wiper wash, pull it back towards you. We have a nice leather multifunction steering wheel and that steering wheel leather is in lovely condition as well. We have cruise control, uh, volume and search controls, voice activation, Telephone answering here, horns on your steering wheel. Uh, this one will run you through your computer system on the center of your dashboard over here as well. So various things that you can play around with, get into your settings, uh, play around with stuff on there as well. I will turn your road sign assist on uh, and then there's all sorts of stuff. You can get it to set to tell you if you're going too quick. Uh, stuff like that, isn't it? Um, I'll have a play around with that in a second. It's got quite a nice uh, lot of spec on it, to be fair. And there we go. Um, so, top of your dashboard, this side's all good. Instrument binnacle's all good. I'll quickly show you under the bonnet. So, there's your Toyota badge. There's my hand going in. Just to the right of your Toyota badge is your bonnet release there. Opening up under here, we have uh, plate fluid over here, and nice and clear as you can see. The coolant is the correct colour and there's no contamination in it. Underneath here, you can see it's very clean and tidy. It's not lived a hard life at all, but when these highlights live a hard life, you can see them from a mile off. Dipstick there, oil filler there, power steering fluid here, windscreen washer fluid there. Uh, add through, fill a there, because this is a Euro 6 model, okay? So, if you want to go through any of your mission zones in London, uh, London ULES, uh, Birmingham, Bath and Bristol, it's all clear from that point of view. You don't have to pay any emissions charges. 
And there we go. So minor cosmetics to sort out. We've got a, what, a windscreen that needs replacing, a couple of touch-ins, a couple of dent mandings. But on the whole, it's a straight and tidy vehicle that's not seen a lot of hard work at all. There are 60 to 70 photos on our website, which is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call on 01905 672 080 or email me sales at vanstoday.com. If you want to check out our reputation online, you can see it uh, on Google. Uh, obviously, we're on LinkedIn, Facebook and Instagram. Got to get with the kids, haven't you, nowadays on the social media. Hopefully, this video has been of some help. You've just made it through 20 minutes of me waffling on. But if you're interested, hopefully that's given you a very good idea of what you're buying. Cheers.